If you've ever shared a meme online of supermodel Tyra Banks imploding in anger or retweeted a gif of Michael Jordan crying or of drag queen RuPaul saying girl and you're a white person, you may be wearing digital blackface. This is according to a new piece that alleges that a practice where white people co-opt online expressions of black imagery, slang, catchphrases, or culture to convey comic relief or express emotions is a problem. CNN analyst John Blake writes, culture critic Lauren Michelle Jackson Jackson defines digital blackface as displays of emotion stereotyped as excessive, so happy, so sassy, so ghetto, so loud, etc. Blake says that digital blackface is wrong because it's a modern-day repackaging of minstrel shows, a racist form of entertainment popular in the 19th century when white actors uh, darkened their faces with burnt cork, entertained audiences by, quote, playing black characters as bumbling, happy-go-lucky simpletons. Um, what are your feelings on digital black is it is it truly not you're not supposed to share a black meme a meme with a black person in it look so i think one there are many different kinds of memes some that are just black people doing things that have nothing to do with like blackness or stereotype or any kind of black culture references per se i think the tyra banks clip that goes you know that people use a lot is her dressing down one of the contestants on America's Next Top Model i was rooting for so you was we were all rooting, rooting for you that has That's nothing not to do with black her face. being black yeah. She's kind of a tyrant, but it has yeah. nothing to do with her being black. So I, I wouldn't put that in the category. Look, I, I and I object to the framing of it as digital blackface, which I do think makes it seem equivalent to minstrel shows in a way that I don't think is appropriate. Yeah, and they're, so, they're saying if you're white, this is, and you do this, this is in the CNN op-ed, this is one of the most insidious forms of contemporary racism. Yeah, I think I we're, mean, we've gotten society to a pretty the, acceptable but, place. But here, here's, here's the, the problem. Most insidious racism People who frame find. issues like that in a way that's like, well, if you agree that this is at all a problem, it's the worst problem that ever struck America, yeah. it undermines well, this your This person own is argument. saying it's a very. Right. And I'm yeah. saying that I disagree with that because I, I really want to make that clear because okay. I do think that there are aspects of this that are wrong, but I really want to be clear. It makes the argument seem absurd if you frame it as this is like, uh, you know, equivalent to a mass genocide or whatever mm -hmm. if you think that this is not a problem. I also want to be clear that not all gifts are created equal and that some of them have nothing to do with race. They're just black people. They happen to be black. Now, I do think that sometimes people should ask themselves, if I wouldn't type out, girl, like if I wouldn't actually just write that to you, mm -hmm. like if you wouldn't say, girlfriend, da 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 da, a text message to me, but you would like tweet it out in the form of a GIF, what is that? I gap? don't tweet like that. I'm not your <laughs> sassy gay friend. <laughs> right, but like, it, you know, just ask yourself that question. Like, what is the gap between what yeah. I would be personally comfortable saying in my real life and what I'm comfortable tweeting out? And if there is a gap there and if there is some dissonance, dissonance there, I think it's worth investigating why. Mm. You know, I know of people, I have friends who do this, they'll use, like, they're not black, but they'll use black thumbs-up emojis and stuff. You know, you can change That's the color good. of the... Why? Yeah, I, I... I'm just asking why. I'm not projecting anything or telling anybody. I'm just curious. The default but once is yellow. I remember being racist when there were not enough Look, that's, that's what I'm saying. The default is yellow. So someone made an affirmative choice to say, I'm going to switch this from yellow and not to it matching my actual hand color, but just a black What if the color. default was no longer yellow and they just gave you a random color? Oh, I don't know. I, that would, they can't randomize. <laughs> It's sure the color they can. on everybody's phone. But if, if it were truly random and it was defaulting to something, I completely understand. But it's not defaulting to anything. People are, some people are making those kinds of choices. And I also think this article does make mistake, makes a mistake in conflating. There are some gifts that are not a problem because of who is using the gift. But because sometimes we have gifified things that are real tragedies, so these mm -hmm. gifts become really decontextualized and we forget, like, the hide your wife, hide your kids that guy was hilarious, right? Like I had a real like, perf like spark and flair for drama, and there's a reason why it went viral. But it's worth noting that he was being interviewed by the media because someone had tried to climb into his sister's window and rape her. And you know, are we losing something as a society by losing track of you know the the um, ain't nobody got time for that woman? Her, her, her house had burned down and she was in the middle of a tragedy when she gave that interview. Now, does that mean we can't enjoy things? Does that mean that like when people do have a flair for the dramatic and are very gifable and are really funny, that that's a problem? Not necessarily, but I, you know, it, it does give me pause sometimes when I do remember, oh yeah, like how, how, what happened to that guy? Like, is he okay? Is his sister okay? Yeah, well, no, absolutely. I, I think 
what the humor comes from in a lot of those cases, I'm not trying to be like, you know, annoyingly colorblind or something, but is that people without any media training or without any history of being on television, doing exactly what you just said, really shining and really having personality and, and really being entertaining to watch. Um, it's, not, it's more of a class thing, really, because it's, it it's actually, it's difficult to have a camera stuck in your face but and uh, to say things that, that are compelling. The fact that it's a class thing is also and, part of the you, issue. Yeah. There, there are well, all not, kinds of... Well, not for CNN. It's a well, blackface. Well, there, I mean, then that's a really good point. There are a lot of gifts that involve yeah. working class, low-income white people up to shenanigans that tend to go around and people tend to make a mockery of. You know, I, I, I do think that there, in that case as well, it's the question of are people who are not a member of this group, are people who are yeah. likely to look down on this group getting humor out of it because they're genuinely colorful and humorous? Because this is a thing that everybody... You know, they fell, and everyone thinks it's funny when you fall, like just generic humor, or is part of the humor derived from the fact that we look down on these people? And that can be hard to untangle. I mean, that's the case of things like Judge Judy and all those courtroom shows. Yes, and, Jerry, uh, Springer. Jerry Springer. Yes. Yeah, right. J Jerry, Sp Jerry Springer, I think, famously said, like, he's just nothing like that. It's a character he plays. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, I don't. This is not TV yeah, he's for like me. A, I don't... A, a, a Harvard lawyer, I think. Yeah. Jerry Springer. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it was TV, yeah. It's TV for, but right, but like a lot of the he would, but he would defend it and say, I mean, it's TV, the pe kind of people who are on the show also watch the show. They love yes. watching people. Like that's that's not class because that people of their own class like. Yes. That kind of and, entertainment. And there are affluent, uh, you know, middle class or middle class black people who really enjoy some of these low-income black people and yeah. these gifts, who there What's is also the a negative guy? class uh, component, Tyler Perry. Yeah, I find some of that stuff funny. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know. I do. I, I actually, I do. Okay. I do. We're, well, I'm sure this is going to be the beginning of a much longer, <laughs> longer conversation between us, Robbie. It's hilarious. But yeah, look, I, it's, again, it's not, no one's allowed to do this. No one's going to yeah. be, you know, kicked off the internet or censored for doing this. I wouldn't, like I said, I have friends who have used I have dated people who <laughs> use the emojis of the wrong color and had thoughts and feelings about it, but it hasn't, you know, it's not a holistic issue with their entire personality. But I, I think it's worth thinking about. I think about it for myself and the way I consume content and whether or not I'm really laughing at something for a reason that I think is defensible or if it's my own kind of status that is enabling me to have distance from something and finding comedy in something that maybe is a little bit of an issue. Uh, forget. I really like the woman who she's like thinking and she's, she's <laughs> looks around and like the numbers appear. Yeah. I'm a big fan of that one. I use a lot of like cartoons and animal reactions. Yeah. Uh, you know, you're on safe ground with with yeah, although everything's some gonna be, people, in the future, oof. everything's going to be animal themed because animals are not controversial. But some, All sports teams are going to be just like animal names. Animals can be um, controversial. People, you'll, you'll, you'll do a funny video of like uh, telling your dog they're going to get a treat and they don't give a treat, and they're like, that's animal abuse. Oh, God. Everything's animal God. abuse if you, you know, withhold anything from your pet for a second. If your pet like trips and falls and like prat falls and like hurts itself a little bit, it's like, oh my God, you're enjoying the pain of an animal. Oh, they, Someone's going to be mad at everything. <laughs> Somebody on the internet is always mad. Well, tell us your favorite uh, your favorite gifts in the comments. It's okay if there's some, <laughs> some black people represented among them. We'll just bring the humor. And tomorrow on Rising, well, Paris is burning. No, really, we'll have journalists on to discuss the turmoil facing Macron. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe so you never miss any content. And for those of you who prefer to listen while you're on the move, we are now available anywhere you listen to podcasts in podcast form. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. See ya.